All right, man. So I want to get to watching this fourth quarter of the Bucks and the Celtics. Um, that's my favorite part of basketball to watch is the fourth quarter because, in my opinion, especially in the NBA during the regular season, that's like that's when they really be going hard is the fourth quarter. So I know I didn't I didn't watch this game. Like I don't. All I know is that the final score, Boston ended up winning by three. So I'm surprised to see that as soon as I clicked on the fourth quarter, it was up basically 20, right? So, you know, we're going to see what's going on with Boston, how they let them come back, what they could have done differently, better, or whatever. But, yeah, let's just check this game out. Uh, well, it's not the game. Let's just check this fourth quarter out and see what we can learn. You know what I mean? Watching Line Hoops Academy. All right, so... It looks like they're in zone. They're not in zone. That's just a, a drop. They might be in zone though, actually. But that's a drop. That ball screen, they're in a drop. Jason Tatum, I don't know what he shot from the field this game. Of course, I'm pretty sure he's always gonna shoot this three. Not necessarily mad at it. I do feel like he maybe could have attacked here. Got downhill, got this two on one. You know, if this guy over here steps over, got a wide open, you know, two on one on this side, but not a bad shot, especially when you're up 20. Not a bad shot. I don't know why I skipped to a first quarter clip. Let's see what's going on here. So we got Derek White off the ball screen. I think they are in a zone. Yeah, that's a zone. That was a good cut by Tatum. Go here, got behind the defense. Chris Middleton kind of sleeves, so Tatum cuts. Hmm. What could have been done differently here? See, this is where Pritchard probably, not even probably, he needs to get down here to the corner because nobody's there. Like, make their defense stretch to the point that he goes down to the corner, he kind of stays here, he's wide open. Can attack, Tatum can get back out. All right, but when he stays there, he doesn't have a really a passing angle for anybody because they got basically four people in the paint. So, you know, that's pretty much doing the, the zone. That's exactly what they want, even though they made that shot. Pat Bev just kind of fell asleep for a second. So good find, good shot. Let's see what's going on now. All right, so now they have 21. They have 21 with 11 minutes left, but they only win by three. That's a great, that's a good action. So no matter how they're guarding this, he has to step back and help. He has to step back and take away the wrap on the screen. And as soon as he goes, he just steps into a ball screen. So now he's back in a drop. Oh my goodness. That is a great action. Look at this. So look. He comes off the screen, he wraps it. He has to step back to stop the fact that he may be able to, you know, get open back door, right? As soon as he steps back, he's going to set a ball screen which forces him to be in a drop. Then, once he's in a drop, he sets a back screen on him. How do you guard that? I don't know what the outcome of this play is gonna be, but that's a great action. Oh yeah, of course. How do you not get a layup on that? That's just a textbook. I will run this every single time down the court. Textbook play. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so hard to guard. You have to talk so much and be so sharp to be able to stop that. So is this. They don't show the full possession, so. We got Tatum coming down. Looks like he just came off a ball screen. They're still in that zone. 
Mm. Tough shot. I feel like he may have been able to make that pass. Right there. Bounce pass right there. That's a dunk. He's wide open. Instead, step back, fade away. Now, that's two times Tatum. I would have rather seen him try to attack. Put the game away. Uh, what happened here? I'm assuming this was a ball screen to a switch. He falls down. That's just kind of broken play somewhat, but chipping, chipping away. Chipping away at the lead. Okay, they're showing the same clip again. Still in that zone, which is obviously is it's a disruptor. It changes the whole flow of the game. You know, I'm not mad at that foul. Get aggressive, set the tone. So on the clock, let's see, ball screen. Again, their spacing is what's like hurting them. He's just seeing literally a one, two, three people right here just kind of staring at him. I'd much rather see him out the way, Tatum over here in a, in a spot where he can actually get a shot off. You know, they still had nine more seconds. The shot he just took there is a shot they could get at any time. But I'm not necessarily mad at it. It is what it is. And then nobody gets back. So let's see, we got three guys staring at the ball. Let's see what happened. Where did Tatum go? So Tatum is at half court right now. He's at half court right now. Let's see who he is where the pass is thrown. Still at half court. That's come on. Easy layup. So it's 15 now. So that zone is really messing with them. It's really messing with them. Late clock in a situation that they're not used to being in. I can tell for a fact he doesn't want to dribble. He's not out there to do that. Tough shot, 16 on the clock. Can't see what happened that full possession, but that's a tough shot with 16 seconds left. So, and man, Got the ISO, let's see what he does. Hmm, that was clean. Nobody's complaining. I guess it was good hands. Hmm. Those are the plays that hurt. You make a, you have the turnover, and then it leads directly to points. Now, what I'll say so far is a lot of people's biggest problem with Tatum is his shot selection in the fourth quarter. And so far, he hasn't had one thing that's like aggressive or attacking. Loses the ball. He's looking back at the ref talking. Chris Middleton just being aggressive. He sees where the defense is. They let him walk right up, literally toes to the three-point line. That's easy. That's a practice shot. Jalen Brown was doing a lot right there. Oh, this is the third quarter. I don't need that. Okay. Next play. Good trap. Let's see who's open. KP doesn't look at the basket as he finds the open shooter, though.
nothing wrong with making that pass. But he's ready to go. He's ready to jump. You know? Look at the basket sometimes. Nonetheless, the wide open shot. Yeah, that's a block. But that's a good screen too. I like screens in transition. Right here, there's nobody guarding him. So if he's able to come off the screen, he rejects it. Well, he refuses the screen. He could have came off. But draws the foul. Mm. Bad pass for what? So they run, it looks like they run that same action again. Where he came off the screen. Now he's going to set a ball screen. And then they set the back screen. Middleton just picks up his dribble a second, a little bit too early. Could have got a quick swing, swing, but instead he tries to throw the pass himself. Big doesn't have him sealed. Good defense, bad offense at the same time too. Pay attention though to how many jumpers are happening. If I'm not mistaken, I don't I don't think there's been a shot inside the paint just yet from the Celtics. All right, and this is a mismatch. That's a tough shot. I, I get that's Porzingis. Fourth quarter, you need the easiest shots possible. Mm. And this. This may look like a tougher shot. I mean, and it, it looks better because he made it, right? But he at least gets two feet in the paint. So when he turns and he shoots, he can see the basket. He's in his shot pocket ready before there's a hand in his face. When Porzingis took that last shot, there's a hand in his face as soon as he went up to shoot. So this is an open shot for a lot of NBA players. Gets two feet in the paint, he bumps him back, creates space. None but draws. And that's why 11 0 run. That's a good shot. And that's all why. They attacked the basket. So now there's two people there, four people on the perimeter. He's essentially trying to guard both of them, which is impossible. Pat Bev is all the way on the other side of the court. Step in shot, and that's all just because they decided to be aggressive. That's why Jalen Brown is so important to this team. Because he actually he attacks no matter what. And then a clock tough shot. Again, look at the shots he takes. Nothing. Again, if this is the third quarter, first to the third quarter, fire him up, man. Fire away. Just these are times like you haven't you missed a couple shots in a row. Get to the line. Go get to the basket. Look at that. Good things happen. Oh, they call it charge. Is that a charge? I mean, he was moving a little bit. I feel like he was moving. I feel like he may have been moving. He was definitely moving. But momentum is momentum. Mm. Mm-mm. One dribble behind. Jab. He's attacking hard. He gets cut off. Change directions. Clock is running down. Create space. That's all Dame needs. And that's and that's the other difference too. Like the shot J uh, Tatum just took. If the clock was running down, cool, great shot. Do what you got to do. But look at this. Even Dame tries to attack first. 
he tries to attack. He gets cut off. Now he has no choice. Back up and get the best shot you can. The clock's at it's five seconds left. And that's just a, a superstar play. I would love to see Tatum attack and make something happen. He backs up like he wants to. Doesn't have to attack. He draws two without doing anything. Right? So once you draw two, your job is done. He did what he had to do. Didn't have to attack. Pass the ball. Wide open shot. Knock down. Knock down. Draw two and pass the ball. I, I was just about to say that's not the best shot. So, of course, he airballed it. Skip, thank you. One of them was wide open, right? So, you see, this is the problem with zones. Like, it's impossible to guard. They have three on the other side, which is overloaded. So, either that's a lob to is that Al Horford or a skip to Derek White. As soon as he picks up the ball, he sprints in to try to take away that pass. Skip for a wide open shot. Whether he did, regardless that he he missed that shot, that was you can't ask for a better, more open look. So okay. Good things happen when you attack. Comes off the ball screen. So now there's, he has to help over. Pritchard is guarding two now. Could have thrown the one more. Probably should have thrown that one more. But it's three seconds left on the clock. But after the scramble, look at Tatum. Tatum stops to help, but then he just stands back. Doesn't find anybody to box, which isn't, it's not bad though, because most shots are gonna land on the opposite side, right? So that wasn't a bad thought by him. But nobody was aware enough to understand there's a, someone wide open underneath. Jalen Brown, he's gonna attack, got stripped though. So look, he's done his job. Doesn't actually have to go for a shot. He has someone open here, open here. Be ready, understand that someone's gonna help when you attack. As Soon as he took that first dribble, he's sprinting over. Spray that pass over to the corner. Spray that pass here. Another strip. Mm. Good cut, good block. He's literally, he's over here scratching his head. Fourth quarter, he's scratching the back of his head. Oh yeah, I'm cutting too. Cut right in front of him. Great recovery though, good block, good block. Two people on him, passes the ball. Tag the close out, that's a good floater. And that's pretty that's all basketball is. Can you draw two people and force a close out? And then how good as you are you at attack the close out? Are you gonna catch and shoot? But you have to keep the advantage. That's that's literally all basketball is. So look, two people on him after the ball screen. Finds a road guy. This time he does mm, he does face up, but he throws a perfect pass to nobody. Can't do that. So they try to get a quick one. Clearly nobody was back. Dane with a good wrap of the screen. I'm not mad at the, he tries to ghost it. All right, so instead of going to set the screen, 
probably should have took one more step to make it look a little more realistic. But he ghosted. Eight seconds left on the clock. Good shot. Way to be ready to shoot on balance. Not sure why there's... I wish I could have seen the whole possession to see why. But wide open shot. With a crash of glass. Mm, same spot. Same spot. So he comes off the ball screen. Dame comes off the ball screen, guard to guard screen. He just puts his man down right in front of Porzingis. Jalen Brown tries to get out a little too late. Back to back. That's his hot spot now. Three point game. Two minutes left, three point game. Let's see what happens. Are they still in that zone? They're definitely in a scramble. Wide open shot, you gotta make that. Oh, he misses. Eighteen on the clock. He just made two, so can't get mad at that shot. He made two in a row. First opportunity you get for another open one, go ahead and take it. Can't be mad at that because he could have tied the game. I would love for Tatum to attack here. Thank you. And he gets fouled. And this is this is the issue. Like you telling me he couldn't been he couldn't have been doing this the whole fourth quarter. He could have been putting his head down and getting to the free throw line the entire quarter. So he makes both. Dame off the ball screen, got the big back pedaling. Step back for a wide open three. Mm. That's a tough miss. That's a that's a good shot for Dame. Man. But more attack, attack. Like as a, I would be frustrated as a coach because do this every time. Not, and it doesn't have to lead to points, but like directly to him scoring, but attack. You have the size and the skill to do that every time. You just got, you, now he just needs the mindset to do it. He goes to the ball screen. That's tough to guard. It's two shooters. Tatum doesn't want to switch. You see where he's standing? So he wasn't thinking about switching. He stays. That gives Dame that wide open angle. And Ghosting is such a good, especially the way people guard now. Hey, and if you playing like pickup or something, but especially organized basketball, but pickup for sure. Like, if he was out there switching, man, slip screens, ghost screens, that'd have messed anybody up. Because nobody is prepared to talk the way that you need to communicate. But again, two feet in the paint. He misses the shot, but again, good things happen when you attack. So he has to step over, which causes him to not be able to put a body on Porzingis. All right? So now he can just fly in and be a seven footer and get a dunk. So Bucks are in desperation mode. They need quick shots. Get the switch. Dame is just tough. That's all that is. You go. Mm. Not mad at it. Just rather you make that. Mm. They call that N one. So come off the screen to stay, draw two, keep the four space, and attack this closeout. That's all basketball is, it's that simple. It is that simple. So now it's a two point game, 25 seconds. Don't fuck. 
Oh my gosh. Listen, do not. All you have to do is get. There's 11. You have to play defense for 11 more seconds. Do not get free points. This is such a. This is a bonehead play. You don't need that. Why? Why do that right there? Look at the coach. Upset, bro. Look. You know what that reaction means? Why, bro? Look at Chris Middleton. Look at everybody's reaction. That's not a good play. Pat Bev sick. Everybody, like, we don't need that. So now you're down by four. Tough shot. They missed. Got a foul. So, they made both again. They foul. Now it's just a foul game. So, that biggest play was uh, Beasley fouling for no reason. That was just unnecessary. And Dame with a last second, you know, that was a meaningless shot. So, that zone was really a disruptor. Beasley with that bad foul at the end. Jason Tatum finally woke up and started driving. But I hope you can see what happens when you attack and when you force the defense to guard the ball with two people. And how just staying space, getting two people on one, and then finding the advantage from there. That's basketball. That's what basketball is. That's how you score and get open looks. All right? Like sometimes you can ISO and take advantage of a mismatch. But really what you want to do is force the defense to help find the open guy, attack the closeout. It's that simple, that's the equation, right? Um, and then just be smart. Like, don't make bonehead plays like he did, like Beasley did at the end. No time to score, but the thing with Boston is they can't continue, like, Jason Tatum has to attack. Um, he has to be aggressive from start to finish, not just at the very end when the game starts to get close. Other than that, man, I hope you enjoy watching this. I enjoy I enjoy watching it, so you know. Uh I hope you learned something. See you guys next time.